Hey, what's up folks? In this video, we're checking out the Neo Trinky. This features a SAMD21 with four NeoPixels and two capacitive touchpads fitted into a USB key that can run CircuitPython or Arduino. We designed and 3D printed a case with a large key ring and used translucent filament to diffuse the NeoPixels. In this demo, we're using the NeoTrinky as a remote shutter button for a mobile camera phone using the HID library for CircuitPython. It can also work as a media controller for your computer or laptop. You can use the cap touch pads to adjust the volume in the NeoPixels for visual feedback. You can 3D print a USB shell for the USB Trinky boards to give them a tighter fitting. It features a thin wall that wedges into the USB port, giving it a secured connection. It's a quick 3D print that doesn't require any support material, so you can make one for each of your USB Trinkies. Using conductive PLA filament, you can create capacitive touchpads with custom shapes that can wrap around, making it easier to touch. To install CircuitPython, we'll go to circuitpython.org and search for the Neo Trinky. You'll want to select your preferred language from the drop-down and click the download button. Double press the reset button on the board to get into the bootloader mode. You'll know it's ready to install when the NeoPixels turn green. Then just drag and drop the UF2 file onto the USB drive. You can get the files to print your own case from the Learn Guide. Start by inserting the NeoTrinky into the case and fitting the pin from the cover through the slot. The two are snap fitted together. Use conductive PLA filament for the button add-ons and press fit them over the touch pads. The case features a large ring so you can easily remove it from any USB port or USB hub. We found translucent natural PLA worked the best for diffusing the NeoPixels. The cover has a built-in button actuator for the reset switch so you can still access it when you need to. So if you're just getting started with programming and electronics, we hope you're inspired to check out the Adafruit NeoTrinky and CircuitPython. <laughs>